today's times, it's crucial to prepare your home and family for emergency situations. To assist you, we've created the following checklist based on the Federal Emergency Management Agency's guidelines. This information will help you to create an emergency plan. It's important to have a plan that will help you while you're at home. On this DVD, we've given you a variety of fire prevention information. It's also important to discuss with your family the dangers of severe weather, earthquakes, and other emergencies, so you'll know how to react to them. For each type of emergency, you should discuss the safe spots in your home. For example, during an earthquake, you should hide under a sturdy table or desk, or against an inside wall where nothing can fall on you. In another section of this DVD, we talked about creating a fire escape plan. It's also important to draw a floor plan of your house to mark escape routes for other emergency conditions. Emergency meeting places should be discussed with family members. One should be near your home in a fire emergency. For other disasters, you should discuss a meeting place outside your neighborhood in case you can't return home. Emergency phone numbers should be posted near telephones. It's also important to teach children how and when to call 911 or your local emergency number, police, or the fire department. In addition, you should teach your children the number of one out of state and one local friend or relative to call if you're separated during a disaster. Family members should know what to do in power outages. You should also show family members how to turn off the water, gas, and electricity at the main switches. To handle personal injuries, it's a great idea to take a basic first aid and CPR class. Family records should be stored in a water and fireproof container. You should prepare a disaster supply kit in an easy to carry container, such as a backpack or a duffel bag. What should be kept in a disaster supply kit? Well, the following items are important. Keep a supply of water in a sealed, unbreakable container. A good rule to follow is one gallon per person per day. Mark the date on each container and replace these items every six months. Keep a supply of non-perishable packaged or canned food and a non-electric can opener. Store a change of clothing for each family member that includes rain gear and sturdy shoes. Keep blankets or sleeping bags. Compile a first aid kit that includes prescription medications. An extra pair of glasses should also be kept for those who wear prescription lenses. Keep a battery-powered radio and flashlight and plenty of extra batteries. You'll also need credit cards and cash, an extra set of car keys, a list of family physicians, and a list of important family information, such as the style and serial numbers of medical devices like a pacemaker. Special items for infants and disabled family members should also be included. It's very wise to prepare an emergency kit for your vehicle. It should include the following items. A battery-powered radio, flashlight and extra batteries, blanket, a shovel, booster cables, fire extinguisher, first aid kit, bottled water, non-perishable food such as granola bars, maps, flares, and a tire repair kit and pump. If the need to evacuate occurs, here is information that you should know. Listen to a battery-powered radio for the location of emergency shelters. Follow the instructions of local officials. Wear protective clothing and sturdy shoes. Take your disaster supply kit. Lock your house. Use travel routes specified by local officials. If you have some time, do the following. Let others know when you left and where you are going. Make arrangements for pets, since animals may not be allowed in public shelters. If instructed to do so, shut off water, gas, and electricity. We hope you never have to use this information in your community. But by being prepared, you'll know you're doing your part to keep your family safe.